Hello everybody. This is in fact a yellowfin tuna minus its body. Uh, yep, it got bit off by a great white tuna. Uh, in this episode of uh, Mr. Oz's Fish Room, we're actually going to go outside of the fish room here, as you can see. Um, we've taken a, a few years back, but I wanted to share it anyway since I've officially got the channel going. Um, there I am, the green shirt on the corner of the boat and uh, basically hooked up to this uh, 68 pound yellowfin tuna. Um, gentleman next to me there was just kind enough to casually unhook his rod and line uh, that was uh, unfortunately only tangled around my rod and reel a little bit. Um, to put it lightly, um, <laughs> I'm mustering up all the energy I have. Um, just squaring my shoulders, using one arm, then the other, um, letting this yellowfin tuna run whenever it wants. It essentially moves wherever it wants and whenever it wants. Obviously, it's swimming, fighting for its life. And um, I'm sitting there and I'm cranking, I'm pulling, uh, making sure there's no slack in my line. And um, all the while, I'm course trying to pace myself I mean you can't just yank a beast like this in um, I believe in total even though the video isn't going to be 25 minutes um, after I abbreviated it and edited it um, uh, it was probably I think it's only about five or so but the whole thing was about 20 minutes or so and um, I'm sitting here as you can see the rod is just been like a, a twig and um, I'm, I'm trying to let the fish wear itself down and um, it's just swimming so hard there's there's no way I can I can very well crank it um, it looks easy I, I bet um, there in the uh, audience but um, well it's not and um, this is actually the first time I had ever hooked onto a yellowfin so um basically getting my butt kicked right here admittedly um friends are you know helping me out that's the captain right there at the blue tank top great captain sean um just making sure you know people get out of my way and that um i don't do anything uh silly so to speak lose my fish um he does not want the people on his boat losing fish um that means he's not doing his job obviously uh he's doing a good part just by getting us onto the fish and um helping us pull these tuna in uh amidst a pretty large school of great white sharks um i don't have any uh or i'm not going to put any video of great white sharks in this episode but um i do have some um fortunately for me i never hooked on to a fish and invested 10 15 minutes of my time essentially wearing myself down and then having a great white shark come along and bite my tuna in half like you saw at the beginning of this uh this video but um i have to say a lot of people lost their fish and that's hard fight that hard and then lose something um, that fish took me almost all the way around the boat um, but there's the captain he's sticking with me um, it's getting close I'm still working on the fish I'm still cranking it it's coming close the rod still bent uh, not as much captain's making sure i keep my rod out i'm so exhausted here that um you know I'm prone to making a silly mistake and wow <laughs> there we go scurrying along kind of like a keystone cop i know that it's kind of silly but i had the captain there again you know making sure i didn't do anything completely stupid um there we go uh what a relief to see the captain and the gaff around that fish i just there's always a thought in the back of your mind you're going to lose it. And there he is on the boat. And everyone's congratulating me. And I'm sitting there exhausted. 
body is just full of lactic acid and I can pretty much just pass out um, but that's really that's that is how it's done and um, we had some yellowfin tuna probably